how many people said that you had invested in a scammer? How many people said to you that it was going to fail? How many people lied to your face? How many people laughed at your face? How many people wrote in comment sections and went after you personally? You know, sometimes it's quite difficult to buy when things are down. We are seeing movement there. Now, we had a big retracement and we're now at 408358, so just below the sacrifice price. I think we're going to have to see some hands get flushed out and then we're going to start to see some movement to the upside. This job is not finished and it's not done for now. Now, looking at the Pulse X chart, as you can see here, still not a sacrifice price yet, very undervalued. And it's currently sitting at four zeros two six three four, but a huge move up, actually a bigger move up than Pulse itself. In front of me is the Pulse Hex chart, and it's close to its all-time high. I classify it completely different to eHex. I see it as a different product. I do not believe it to be what eHex was, because there's such a difference between the Pulse Hex and the Ethereum Hex. Here we're at the one cent for mark. A bit of a retracement today. Got as high as one cent nine. And then we have the hex chart, the regular e hex chart here, and it's just under one cent for the day. We're seeing big retracement back, right? We've had massive power moves, and you can, okay, we are in a very good position going into the bull market. I couldn't have said that a week ago. A week ago, I couldn't have said that there could be a possibility of movement exponentially to the upside. Now, a few reasons for that, right? Richard Hart has come out and he has gone against the SEC. There's a clear message that he's going to be fighting this case and he's decided to take up too soon. Much love.